All right. Welcome, folks. Millspec Ops Mickey here. Listen, it's going to be your monkey minute. It's Sunday, 9 25, 2022. And as always, we're going to go cover the stuff that are kind of uh, the, the mainstream media doesn't really cover. They're kind of obscure headlines. But just uh, keep us on track at, at the direction this world is going, uh, which is uh, to hell in a handbasket very rapidly. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Man, uh, crazy, I guess, would be an understatement. But uh, nonetheless, theme for today. Uh, is going to be you can't fix stupid. But you'll see when we get into this, uh, it is just nutty out there. But let's start off here. Uh, I want to bring this up quickly. Uh, Russia plans to draft 1.2 million people into its army. You remember we were talking about 300,000 uh, was the number, and that uh, there was some hidden or actually some uh, some uh, leaked documents that indicated that they were going to hit a million. Well, it looks like 1.2 million. Now, if you watch our sit rep tomorrow, very important one. We're going to be talking about China. We're going to be talking about Russia uh, and the two of them relative to the United States and where we're headed. And so don't miss that one tomorrow. It's going to be very important. Now, let's get over here real fast as we're talking about China. Uh, this one here kind of confirms what we've been seeing and what we've been feeling. And so it says here that the, the China uh, is now using civilian ships to enhance their Navy capability. So when we look out uh, at the... Um, the South China Sea, and we see all of these uh, boats that are floating around, and they're just uh, they're not really uh, being utilized. Uh, this is kind of an indicator that um, they are adding these different capabilities to their civilian fleet uh, that uh, will enhance their maritime uh, fleet of uh, their navy fleet, so to speak, from a war perspective. And uh, all kinds of different things are going to be doing to them. But uh, we've seen this in the past. This isn't the first time they've done this. Uh, even all the way back uh, during the Obama and then into Trump's days, uh, we saw them using ferries to move uh, military equipment. And so just uh, another data point uh, that these folks uh, are going to come at us from all different kinds of angles. And uh, uh, we just have to continue to keep our uh, our eye on them, right? So, all right. Now, speaking of bad guys, this is uh, Iran. And uh, they're saying that uh, the president is actually saying he's going to act decisively after this big protest. Now, I don't know if you saw any of this going on in the street, but uh, they're uh, basically <laughs> cutting their own hair and acting like fools on the street. Uh, mercy, not a good look. And uh, But you can see that uh, they kind of feel like, hey, they're going to die tomorrow, so let's just get it done. But, uh, man, that's, uh, that's going to be a bad haircut to, rec <laughs> to recover from. This guy, probably not a barber. Uh, but yeah, he's just shaving people's heads and he's not just doing it uh, all over. Uh, this lady here is doing some locks for love. It looks like uh, just uh, cutting her hair short. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably all dead now, by the way. This is uh, this was recorded yesterday, but uh, insane. Uh, this is what happens with you have uh, tyrannical governments. But uh, it looks like they're a little bit of a protest going on. And uh, again, these guys are probably all dead today. So. All right. Let's get over here to Chicago. Speaking of dead. Uh, Chicago declares itself as a sexu uh, sanctuary city for abortion, transgender uh, surgeries. Uh, you can see this lady looks like she's had both uh, and uh, is a survivor. Uh, but nonetheless, holy smokes, Chicago, ah, man, you're just making people want to leave that place. High crime, and uh, now you're just bringing in all the freaks. So uh, good luck with that. And uh, maybe this is where we ought to start shipping all of our uh, immigrants to, you know, uh, Chicago. So since we know that uh, Obama lives up there. All right. Let's get over here to this side of it. Uh, the weather. Uh, lots of stuff going on in the weather. We've been tracking all this uh, geoengineering and weather modification stuff for the last month or so. Uh, and it's definitely evident they are uh, always doing things to the, to, to the earth uh, in general. And so this one here is no different. Widespread flooding. And damage after the worst September storm since the 1970s hits Alaska. Uh, doesn't look that bad, really, in my opinion there. But uh, nonetheless, again, just pay attention to the headlines. Everything that happens from a weather perspective, it seems to be apocalyptic or uh, historical. I mean, the words that are sprinkling into our headlines every single time, uh, it just seems to be breaking records and... Uh, and used to describe this stuff. So, all right, last one up. <laughs> Again, you can't fix stupid. Uh, this right here just kills me. Uh, at least 24 people killed in boats, uh, on a boat, actually, sorry, after it sinks in Bangladesh, and that's coming from the police. But just notice 
how they pile onto the boats. These things capsize, folks. Uh, and this is kind of a trend in Bangladesh, by the way. Uh, go look at the trains in the past. Uh, this is how they board trains. They don't even get on the inside. They climb on the outsides like like uh, like monkeys. This is something my people would do, right? Uh, absolutely incredible. But you can see them just piled onto these trains. They do this all the time. And, uh, you know, people get uh, run over because they fall off. Uh, it's just absolutely stupid to be to begin with. But uh, like I said, you can't fix stupid. And uh, and here, uh, in this case, they're doing the same thing with their boats. Uh, I guess they don't have, like, uh, the fire marshal come around saying, hey, you can only have, you know, 16 people in this restaurant. They just go, whatever, get on, however many you can get on, and uh, let's see if it'll move. And so, again, this is what happens. So, all right. So let's get over to a, uh, a little laugh for you here as we go through. I guess uh, the millennials would call this a palate cleanser. Um, I pulled this off of Breitbart today. I just thought this was pretty comical. But Biden is actually saying there is not a single thing that I've observed at uh, all that would affect me or the United States relative to my son, Hunter. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, like I say, every single time, time to go, Joe. All right, that's going to be it for today. Listen, uh, keep uh, keep that powder dry and stay frosty. Uh, the world is changing at a rapid pace, and the things are getting crazy. Again, our sit rep for tomorrow is going to be uh, going to be a good one. We're going to actually talk about China. We're going to talk about Russia. We're going to talk about all the latest news going on. A lot of crazy things happening in China uh, as well as Russia right now. So that's it. God bless. Monkey out.